<laughs> okay, good morning everybody. Today's the Facebook Live day. And so I'm going to go on a journey again. I'm a little frustrated today because I found out yesterday that I have to get rid of some of my chickens. Ooh, that makes me mad. I've grown... One second, guys. Sorry about this. We got a fix. Okay, hopefully that worked. I just had to take it off of Wi-Fi. Anyways, I've grown to love these these chickens, these girls here. All of them. I got ten of them. See, they're all friendly and all great and marvelous. I will absolutely thoroughly enjoy having chickens. And I have ten of them. I have almost uh, oh, like 0.4 acres here or something like that. And the city has informed me that I can't have more than six chickens, which frankly is frustrating that anybody would want to take that control that we have, our freedoms. And I've grown, I've grown attached to them. I've grown, I really have grown to like to care for my chickens. And in that frustration, it's really brought me down. I have to say, I've really been quite down lately. Uh, I found out yesterday, and it's <laughs> this has been a, a tough one to pull out of. And it really, really frustrates me that we have people that can take control like that. And so I'm going to do what I can do to, to fight against this. But meanwhile, I'll adhere to the, the laws. But that really got me thinking about kind of life in general. When we start feeling down, that we, we need that little pick-me-up. We need that extra little boost to be able to keep going. And sometimes it's, it just seems like nothing works. I mean, I, I go through all my let go techniques that I've been, and sometimes it's just a matter of continuing to do the same things over and over again to let it go and to just kind of move forward. You can't allow life to kick you down and keep you down. To, and when you do get knocked down, you've just got to get back up. And now I know this may seem pretty frivolous to some of you, but I love animals. I always have, and I take care of them. I take care of them better than I say most of the zoos take care of their animals. And when, when you start having people impose their own thoughts, ideas, their own wills, and they don't really give you a choice, I noticed how much we fight back. <laughs> and I thought, ooh, there's a lesson here for children too. Because when we start saying, this is what you got to do, or you do this, do that, and we start imposing our will on somebody, oh man, I, I, I noticed that the dragons come out. The dragons come out. It came out of me yesterday. I mean, I, I wrote a full page about how awful and <laughs> everything our city is and everything. I've just been lamb blasting them. But it's really not that bad. Yes, I have to get rid of four of my chickens. But I'm hoping and working on a solution that maybe my neighbors will let me put them on their property. But when we get these moments, we just have to step back and basically take an inventory of where we're at. Look at what solutions we can find. Look at what problems we might be able to solve. And when we... And, sorry, I'm, I'm, somebody sent me a, a note here and I, I was reading it, I apologize. That's the one thing about Facebook Live is you, you kind of get these pop-ups that start showing up everywhere. But anyways, so... When we, when we feel like just all, all, all is lost, 
that's when we need to step back and say, no, I am a problem solver. I can accomplish and do great things. And I will come up with the solutions that I need. I will come up with a solution that works for me, that works for everybody around me. And when we stay in solution mode, and we stay where we're, we're not trying to impose our will, then we are able to come up with creative ideas. And it's hopefully in that creativity that we find our greatest joy, our greatest happiness, and all the, the excitement of life that it can bring. So think about your children. If you have children, if you don't have children, think about those around you. What freedoms are you taking away from them by saying, go do this, or, or you have to do this, or you have to have that, or you know, anything that you're forcing somebody else to do. I notice as a father that I do that frequently. And my oldest daughter has quickly informed me that that doesn't work. <laughs> She says, Dad, when you tell me I have to do something, I just fight you. I just want to fight against it. But when you ask me to do something, then I am a lot more willing to listen. And most of the time I'm willing to do what you are actually asking me to do. And it really got me thinking that we need to do that in all aspects of our life. Nobody likes to be controlled. Nobody likes to be manhandled or forced in any way. We like our freedom. I like my freedom. I like the freedom to keep my chickens, <laughs> which I'm fighting it. I am going to fight it. But that's a, another story for another day. I'll let you know how it goes. But anyways, look at your life. Look at what areas and aspects of your life where you are forcing your will or you're forcing something. And then step back and say, maybe I could give this choice to them. Maybe I could allow them to make the right decision. Because as we do it, they ultimately will become the better person. That's a bright sun. I'm grateful for the sun, but that's a bright sun. And when we help them and just show them the way and then give them choices, it really is amazing that how often they actually make the choice that you actually want them to make because they've been given their freedom. Stay in solution mode. Stay in the mode of being willing to help others and wanting to solve solutions and be a problem solver. And that's what I got for you today, guys. Thank you for listening. Hope you enjoyed it. Please share this. I know it's probably not my own little normal uppity beat self, but see, even I get down at times. <laughs> but man, I tell you, I'm frustrated about my chickens. And I'm going to fight it. American Fork, here I come. I'm going to fight it. Everybody have a wonderful day. Thanks for listening. You're amazing. Believe it. Thank you. Actually, I got one more other thing. I forgot to point and say, you are amazing. You are. You right there. The one watching this right now. <laughs> have a great day, guys.